Platz. The total energy of the person jumping on a trampoline equals all of the potential energy, both the spring and the gravitational potential, plus the kinetic energy. <laughs> Land records. Why are you all in my zone? Huh? PE equals MGH. This is used to find the potential energy due to gravity. You multiply the mass of the object or person in this case by the height they are from the ground and by G, the acceleration that comes from gravity, which is 10 meters per second squared. The way to find the potential energy stored in a spring is PE equals one half times KX squared where x is how much the spring stretches and k is the spring constant. Newton's third law states, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When the springs are stretched by the person, they have to compress again, making the person jump higher as the trampoline returns to its original position. Because of gravity, larger masses allow the spring to be stretched out more. This can be shown by the equation F equals MA, which is Newton's second law of motion. F is the force of gravity, M is mass, and A is the gravity we found earlier, the acceleration due to gravity. Smaller kids usually jump higher than adults, even though they have a lower potential energy due to gravity, because the trampoline can more easily spring them back up, since they are being pulled down by gravity slightly less. This is a great example of Newton's first law. Objects in motion will keep moving, and objects at rest will not move until acted upon by an outside force. The outside forces that keep you on top of the trampoline are both gravity, which keeps you down, and the trampoline itself, which keeps you up. Stand up, you're